This is the frame that I found early 2010 in a junk pile. And this is to me doing a video record of what I've done to it so far. And I'll do a walk around and explain some things on it. I'll try to make this video shorter than the last one I did. Uh, YouTube booted it out because it was too long. So here it goes. We'll start up the front. On the front, you can see this is a Honda FL250. I found it in junk pile early 2010. I um, bought it, brought it to my shop here, decided to start working on it. I had to work on some plans to figure out what to do with it first. So that's why I just pretty much just kind of let it sit for a month or so. Starting on the front end, I completely redone the front end. I had some adapters made to put modern wheels and tires on. You can see the existing hub, three bolt hub. It goes to a four bolt hub. These are Terex rims, and them tires are off a of King Quad 700 that I had just laying around. I put a front bumper off just an old, um, uh, the bumper's just off uh, out, of a, out of a junkyard. I cut the bottom tubes off of it and made some mounts to go into the frame system here. You can see the inner mounts go right on the uh, cross tube on a suspension. Uh, as you can see the frame has took a couple of good hits. That's the reason why I put the bumper there is that you want your frame to be solid and intact and uh, not tweaked and it has been tweaked. Excuse my welding but I'm still in the process of learning welding techniques. Uh, that's why the welding looks a bit crappy. The cross tube right there is used to help strengthen up the front end and also anytime you have a roll cage, uh, any wide openings uh, weaken your unit. So that's re another reason why I did that crossbar right there. As you can see right down here, the snubbers I used are off a of modern, modern vehicle. I picked them up at a four wheel drive shop. Um, they're kind of, they're not too expensive, but the thing you can see down there is that there's not much suspension travel to be had. Also on the front end, I'll try to get a shot of it here. You can see I made a little bash plate right past the bumper. That was uh, to help add in, also strengthen the frame, the down tubes right there, and add a little bit of protection in front of the suspension which never hurts. The fenders are actually rear fenders off um, a Honda 200 a four wheeler. I trimmed them and then welded a, let me see if I can get a good shot of it, an angle iron piece that I fish mouthed out. It goes underneath the fender like that and comes, let's see if I can get a picture of it, like that. I used a little standoff to hold it in there. I, I did a little notch right there, as you can see. And the fenders look real good. They're real sturdy in there. On the back side, if you look, it's a piece of angle iron. But it was split at one end and I just got it bolted in down there. I really didn't want to weld that one to the frame. It's real sturdy, works pretty good, and it's lightweight. The reason I did the angle iron pieces at the top up here is that I can put some rear view mirrors on that if I wanted. I'm going to go over here and show you a picture of my Nerf bars. They're also out of a junkyard. Now the front piece, you notice it's got two bolts bolted into the frame. Held real good and was real sturdy. The back mount is only one piece and they were kind of floppy. That's the reason why I have that cross brace right there. It's real sturdy. It could take a lot of abuse and uh, worked out real well. And that'll, that'll work out pretty good. Nerf bars are great keeping trees out between the uh, suspension and the rear, rear tire. I'll move back to the rear tire. You can see it's a swing axle design. Not many Odysseys had, had this. This frame has been cut right behind the seat. 
a one by two frame, one by two inch square tubing frame uh, has been made and put in place here. And let me go back to the rear suspension. The rear suspension is held in place with a heim joint and one U-joint system back there. Currently the shocks are bad and I'm in the process of finding new shocks for this. A uh, neat thing I found on the heim joints is that if you can look closely at the the bronze bushings, they are cabinet bushings and that's what I use to make my high offset uh, bushings right there. I just filed, filed on them a little bit and it worked out perfectly. And I'm real surprised and pleased on how that turned out. The suspension rebuilt quite well, but the only mods I have to finish on it are probably welding the yoke tubes to the axles to make sure they stay solid. Because uh, I don't think them, uh, when I get to applying the horsepower to it, uh, I don't think they're going to be able to withstand the horsepower as of now. But the back tires and rims are off a Suzuki. I do have adapters, but I may, I probably, you can see the adapters in there. I'm going to end up probably just ordering rims. You can order uh, from uh, Rocky Mountain or um, Dennis Kirk, and I've done this from Dennis Kirk, a blank rim with the uh, inside uh, diameter cut the way you want, and you can cut your... Uh, your own uh, bolt pattern or drill your own bolt pattern and so I'm, I was looking at keeping a 25 inch diameter tire both front and rear I got a good amount of ground clearance with this thing let me go around the back you get a better look at the rear suspension anybody that's contemplating doing this on an Odyssey I mean this would be probably the way to do it this is probably done many years ago I don't know who done it but uh, all I know is I have it now. This system uh, that I'm going to use is a snowmobile motor, which goes from a front converter clutch to a rear converter clutch. Uh, that'll be a jack shaft that'll run that chain and sprocket that you see down there. You can see it uses the existing brake system. I'm going to put a secondary brake caliper below this one as an emergency brake and have the handle on the right side of the frame right up in there. The, uh, you can see that there is the mount for the five gallon fuel cell. I don't, I, I like the design, I just don't like how high it is. The higher the, the higher the stuff you have, the more weight transfer and stuff like that. So for now, I'll use it. But uh, once I get everything together, I'll probably lower it try to find a place that I can get it as low as possible. Uh, the reasoning, reasoning is, is uh, the higher the weight you have up, the more chances you have to roll over. And so that's why I want to get the weight down low. It still has the Odyssey controls. This one was the one that was on it. I have another one that's uh, in better shape. Uh, the good thing about using a snowmobile motor is that all you need is two controls, the gas and the brake. And that kind of simplifies it, and I kind of like that. I thought about the motorcycle, using a motorcycle motor, but I couldn't, I didn't find one that was wrecked, or one that I liked. And it would be kind of complex to put it in. It might be actually easier to install the motor, but shoot, um, right now I just ain't finding any. The bodywork is roofing tin. It's pop riveted in place. Um, I'll continue on around the back side to add uh, the tin in, add a full body work, work in it. If I was to only run in sand, I wouldn't worry about a body on it. But because I'm going to be in the mud and the grime and stuff, and I'm going to have a clutch converter, i got to have some protection. I'll also add around the front some of that body work on that too. The... Let me think what else I need to talk about. Oh, I added some floors in it. That floor's been added in, and that one's been added in. Now, the very back is open, but I do have a 
kind of a dust pan being made right now. I'll notch it out for both the brake and the sprocket over there, which that'll also keep uh, dirt and grime off the inside and off the belts. The from this angle, you can see the rear is kind of wide. So I'm going to try to order some rims that have a, a one inch negative offset compared to these. Try to suck it in a little bit more. That may bring it be a problem as far as width. It's especially going to make it push on the front end. That's why I mounted the front tires or front rims outward. They're actually mounted outward, but the tires are mounted right. If everything works out later on, I'll get a cut the front end off a four wheeler and put the double A arm suspension on this. Try to improve the ride quality. But for now, this is as far as I've gotten. I'll try to chronicle all the stuff that I do, show the people how, uh, how to do a converter system and all with the, uh, the belt drive. It's similar to a go-kart. If you look at a go-kart, modern go-kart, how they're done, and I got an example of one over there that I'll show in some other videos. And that is how you uh, do the converter system on these Odysseys. People will need to remember to keep the motors and all the equipment low. I've seen too many of these things that are motors mounted up high. And they're either a wheelie machine or they like to roll over a lot. And that's not good. Anyhow, for now, uh, I'm chronicling what I do. And I'll put them on the web. That way everybody can see it and have a chance to do stuff like this. So it'll be a fun project. Uh, I don't have much money in it right now. And I don't know how long it'll take. But anyhow, that's where I'm at right now.